Francisco?
going to try to speak without into the microphone here because, I don't know, it's a small, small group here. Hopefully you guys can hear on the online audience. Uh, but thank you guys for so much for being here today. Um, really exciting. This is the last performance of a, a small spring recital tour. So it's been really a lot of fun and, uh, to, to play these. We're at the University of Akron, Ball State. Um, number of, of institutions across uh, the Midwest here. So it's been a lot of fun. Um, so I thought what's better than end it here in the hometown crowd. Um, so it's a, a lot of fun. So the first piece that you heard on the program um, is a piece called Colloquy uh, by William Goldstein, American composer. Um, I recently played this piece with the Wind Symphony at um, OSU. Yeah, some of the students here in the crowd were in that group, so that was a lot of fun. So I figured, uh, well, you know, play the piano reduction on, on the recital. And uh, I'm primarily a bass trombone player, for those that <laughs> don't know, so I'm, I'm getting my feet wet with uh, some tenor trombone playing. So that was a, a fun time. So um, all of the pieces on today's program uh, were I would say ma major catalyst for me in my career and my development. And so that's why I decided to kind of compile these pieces together. So that piece I had listened to for years with the famous Joe Alessi recording with the band and it was just this really amazing sound that he produces um, in, in one of his albums on that piece. So I um, always wanted to, to tackle that one, <laughs> I guess you could say. Um, so the next piece on the program is um, a piece by um, Fresca Baldi who is a late um, um, Renaissance early Baroque composer and um, Frescobaldi he was always known as a perfectionist he was always rewriting things recomposing what he um, wrote so for today's performance he doesn't have to worry about that because Eddie Koopman made this really great arrangement um, with bass trombone and electronics based off of uh, one of his canzone um, pieces so this piece was originally written for a bass instrument didn't really specify um, exactly what instrument it was written for, um, but I, I love this edition. This was on Ben Van Dyke's uh, album uh, called Nana, uh, which I, I really grew up listening to. Uh, probably Noah, maybe you probably know that uh, album very well. All of us bass trombonists love Ben Van Dyke's playing. So um, I hope you enjoy Canzone by Frescobaldi and arranged by Eddie Koopman.
Continuing through, it's a lot of fun, right? It's a kind of a cool, it's kind of goes through this funk sort of deal with some Renaissance music. It's an interesting combination, so I hope you enjoyed that. So going through the program here, the next piece I'm going to play is actually a piece not written for trombone, written for cello. Um, it's, it's a couple selections from Bach's second cello suite. So going off of the theme of songs of influence or pieces of influence, um, I'm going to take you guys back to 2010. So 2010, I just started my undergrad at Columbus State down in Georgia. Everybody thinks Columbus, Columbus, but Columbus State in Georgia. So I'm sitting in the audience. I was like a 17-year-old, you know, freshman in my undergrad. And Jim Markey is like the first guy that comes to campus as one of our guest artists. And yeah, Jim Markey is basically a monster on trombone, if there ever was one. I mean, the guy. Uh, played tenor for many years, and then he won bass trombone uh, in the New York Philharmonic, and then won bass trombone, the bass trombone position when Doug Gill retired in the Boston Symphony. So the guy is a, a beast of a player. So he comes in and plays a recital for us during his, his uh, residency, and I'll never forget it. He comes out, the second piece on the program was this second cello suite. And he did the entire suite memorized, and I was just completely blown away as a you know 18-year-old kid. And um, it was just one of those moments where I, from that day forward, I said, okay, I'm going to start working on these cello suites. There's got to be something to that. Um, and I think it makes um, us as trombonists kind of get out of the, the realm of our own repertoire. We're always stealing everyone else's repertoire anyways, because uh, we don't have that many grades. Um, but this is one of those that I think is really a fun piece to play, a fun piece to work on, it teaches you so much in, in music theory and harmony. Um, and as well as how to breathe and, you know, um, to make phrases out of uh, a piece, even though a cellist doesn't have to necessarily do that. So um, I hope you enjoy these selections from Bach's second cello suite. I'll start out with the prelude, which is often described as like an aria for a cello. Um, and then the, the two minuets from this suite, just nice uh, dances. And then the uh, courant movement, which basically means uh, flowing flowingly agility, so it kind of shows off the agility of the cellist, hopefully the agility of the bass trombone today. So I hope you enjoyed these elections from uh, Bach's second cello suite in D minor. Thank you. 
everybody. So the last piece um, on the solo portion of the program is a um, bass trombone concerto by Elizabeth Rahm, who is a uh, fantastic composer. Um, I think this piece is getting a lot more um, traction these days, and a lot of her pieces are getting a lot more traction. In fact, our trombone quartet is playing one of her pieces. Um, well, I don't mean, is that next weekend? <laughs> so uh, she has a lot of really great music. She's originally an oboist, um, and she uh, resides in Canada. Um, fantastic composer. Um, so I really enjoy this mu uh, music and this concerto. Um, I think her music is very approachable to the, the average listener. Um, and I think they would really enjoy uh, the sounds that she creates through her compositions. So in this piece, the first movement is, um, I call it the bass trombone movement. It's very uh, uh, big and um, bombastic sounds, very um, cadential. A lot of kind of things on your own. The pianist has a, a lot of um, opportunity to be able to uh, freely play as well. And the second movement is uh, entitled Romance, and it's very much like a, uh, to me it sounds like a, a Schumann song cycle of sorts. Um, very light sort of piece, very vocal. And then the last movement, uh, titled Moderato, it's very much like a, a tango feel, um, really a fiery piece, so it's kind of a nice conclusion to the, to the recital. Um, but last but not least, certainly not least, I wanted to take a second to uh, thank my collaborative pianist, uh, Tian Shu Wang. She's been fantastic. Just over here at the last thank you. Thank you. She took like you know multiple car rides with me over the last couple months. So you guys, my students, you can attest. You know, she hears all kinds of crazy stories over the couple hours of riding in the in the car. So thank you again. It's been fantastic. So we hope you enjoy Elizabeth Rahm's uh, concerto for bass trombone. Thank you. 
of you that, that don't know um, Dr. Weichel, Tony Weichel, he's the Termon professor over at Capitol. And since uh, coming to town uh, a couple years ago, I started at OSU. Uh, Tony's been fantastic, a fantastic friend of mine and colleague. Um, and we always say, you know, we're just down the road from one another. So we've been doing a lot of uh, things together this year. So um, including playing at Fortet, we did a trombone day together with, with both of our groups. It's just been a lot of fun. So uh, really thankful that he was able to come and join me on this last piece of the program, uh, which is a, a, a piece by Daniela uh, Candeliri, Candeliri. <laughs> Candeliri um, who is another female composer. And this piece is uh, uh, entitled uh, Balkanika, which is um, a, a set of uh, two Slavic dances. Um, and she arranged these for trombone duo. And uh, it was a lot of fun. We, we played this, oh, this is our third or fourth time. Thank you. 
Thank you all again for coming. It really means a lot. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Enjoy it. Okay. Awesome.